Okay, so right now I want to show you our national tree. Anybody ever heard of the term calabash before? Some of the Caribbean islands also have it. See those brown, green trees on the tree? Yes. <laughs> They're very heavy, mind you. Very heavy. Oh no, it's like a shell or a gourd. Yes. Uh, it's like we cut it in half. There's a mushy inside, we don't use that stuff. Uh, get it cleaned nicely, give it some sandpaper, nice and smooth. Get it dried in the sun, it turns brown, it doesn't stay green. And then you could use it as a bowl to eat, you could oh. do some paintings on the outside, oh. make a musical instrument from the small ones like moragas, and you could do lots of stuff with it. the French word. Now the structures of the school look pretty old-fashioned. That is because these were once military barracks used by the French and the English during the days of the wars between the two. I'm going to tell you a little bit more about. Uh, yeah, so they refurbished them a bit and put the college right here. So this college has a lot of history behind it. Now the kids at the college right here, they wear uniforms. They would spend on average two years to get an associate's degree in whatever they're going to study, whether it be technical, business, science, and they Every department has a different color uniform. Football. Now that big tree over there on the left, you've seen it before, what's the name of it? I told you. The queer name. <laughs> the mass tree. Right. Now this big bomb right here, down here we call it the sleeping policeman. That's right. And in case you were going to ask if education is free, it is not. You gotta pay for all your education from infant school all the way to college. Oh yeah. It's mandatory that every kid goes to school, but if you really cannot afford, you would go to the government to get some form of assistance. Same thing, yeah. Same as education. You gotta pay for all of that. You would get some help, well not all the time, but you would. Yeah. Some people would. This is the very stone of Sir Arthur Lewis, the guy who won the Nobel Prize for Economics, and also put the colleges renamed after. Up on this side, you have a monument called Inesculin Monument, which is erected to honor the battle, the 1796 battle, when the English took Montfortune, this area, from the French. The main college. Yeah, okay. There's plenty of other high schools or secondary schools, primary schools, or elementary schools here. Now, some of the kids, when they got to graduate from this one, if they could afford, they would go to university. There is not a full fledged university on the island when they leave that one right there, but uh, there is an open campus, University of the West Indies, just down there. We're going to be passing next to it. It's not the full campus. You can only spend one year, and you got to go complete in uh, Jamaica or Barbados, where they have the full campus. So the kids who live on the island take advantage of that.
So far, so good? Yeah. Okay. Right over there, that's the open campus. There's a TV station, a radio station over there. Uh -huh. Oh, the hurricane, the recent one, 